Thanks for hanging out with us at halftime here at the American Women's Basketball Championship. I'm Haley Outen. In eight seasons, Temple head coach Tanya Cardoza has led the Owls to six postseason berths, including three NCAA tournament appearances and a spot in the WNIT Final Four last season. It was a good run for Temple, but now they have their hearts set on something greater. Yeah, it was really exciting and it was great for our program. You know, we made it by the skin of our teeth, you know, and the fact that we got invited and then we ran with it with a bunch of young guys. Like you said, we only had eight or nine players and six of them were freshmen and sophomore. So they gained a lot of experience and we played in some great venues. We didn't expect to make it that far and a lot of people really didn't expect us to make it that far. So making it that far really gave us confidence and let us know that we could compete with, team, with really good teams as long as we all do our role and come together and do what we have to do. I think those four games definitely brought to them that they can win. You know, I think early on last year, they didn't really think that they were good enough to win games like that. And once we got into the postseason, I think they really started to believe in each other and in, in themselves. Looking back, I just feel like each game we grew closer and closer as a family and that helps a lot on the court and off the court. But being a family, it just, it just brought us together and we just all, I don't know, like we just wanted to win so we did it for the person beside us instead of thinking about ourselves. Two keys to Tanya Cardoza's group is her backcourt, which is made up of sophomore Aaliyah Butts and junior Fayonda Fitzgerald. They lead the team in minutes played and scoring and together are a dangerous duo that could be the difference in an even better run in the postseason this time around. But they're fun to watch. You know, both of them being freshmen had to come in and step in and play big roles for us. And now that they both have each other, you know, they get to, you know, lean on one another. And, you know, they're really excited. They're really good friends, too. So that helps a lot. It's pretty tough. We're pretty good this year. And we, this year, I feel like we have a lot more players. So now we, we can get in and out and we can be able to run the floor and, and just be fresh. So every time we get tired, we can bring somebody else on. It's to basically just do my part, do what I have to do for my team. That consists of facilitating, uh, seeing the floor, um, being able to score when my team needs me to score, and just being a leader to help my team get further in the, uh, get further in the tournament this year. You know, they, they want to do it for each other. You know, it's not about themselves or whatever. They really feel like they want to do it for the next guy beside them, and they want something you know, that they haven't had and not one of them has been to the NCAA, so it's something that they're definitely going to be fighting for. The Owls will continue to make their case for the NCAAs this week at the American Championship, a goal that they have been looking to all season long. The second half is coming up. Enjoy the rest of the game. I'm Haley Allen.